if he were to... After listening to arguments and questioning attorneys, the seven-judge panel of Maryland's Court of Appeals made its ruling. Officer William Porter can be compelled to testify in the trials of Lieutenant Brian Rice, Officer Edward Nero, Sergeant Alicia White, and Officers Cesar Goodson and Garrett Miller. All are charged in connection with the in-custody death last April of Freddie Gray. Defense Attorney Warren Brown is monitoring the trials. He says the ruling does not surprise us, and the state got what it wanted. But really, when you, when you look at it a little deeper, the state has fought uh, zealously to put a person on the witness stand, i.e. Porter, that they have labeled in his own trial as being a liar. Do you really think Officer Porter is going to testify? Well, I think that he will absolutely be called as a witness in the case against Officer Goodson because remember, it's Officer Porter who connects those dots. It's Officer Porter that indicates and testifies and has previously stated that he told Officer Goodson that Freddie Gray needed uh, medical assistance. Porter's attorneys worry the limited immunity offered by the state won't protect their client's rights. And if called to testify, Porter has already said he will invoke his Fifth Amendment constitutional right against self-incrimination. If he pleads the Fifth, then the, the judge has the ability to sanction him uh, for not testifying, which usually means locking him up until the case is resolved. I don't see that really happening. The Court of Appeals has yet to release its opinion explaining its decision, which defense attorney Warren Alperstein says will have a significant impact far beyond the Freddie Gray case. From here on in, whenever a uh, uh, the state wants to prosecute co-defendants and use one co-defendant against the other, they in effect will then compel each other to testify. The Court of Appeals has since said now they can do that. So you'll have co-defendants testifying against each other, even though they're pending their own trials. And one more note on the trials of the six officers. Officer Porter's attorneys could appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.